hero, I'm the hero, hero, it's me, my hero. One moment. Hero, one moment door. Hmm, it is I doing a random stream. Let's see. Hello to anyone watching or is to watch. It is me, Kurt, and I am here from the Papal Tell Squad gang to do a chill Starfield stream. Right. Let me lower that volume. when you are.
Hello, mate. Oh, crap. Hang on. Barrett, let's go. Survey this planet, so I need to check out the local fauna and flora. See what exotic plants and wildlife we can find. There's a ship landed somewhere. It's none of my concern. Unless they are here to start something. In which I'll use my explosive shotgun. in oblivion is that system. I can make it smoother. Usually I have this on full, but because I'm streaming, it does tank it a little. Progress here with these scans. Yep. Glorious. Mine 
and windy. Two more forms of wildlife to discover, and two more forms of flora. And I think I see one up ahead. Boreas or Boreas root. Exotic flora. I see a mass slaughter up ahead. Nope, they were all sleeping. Easy. I know you're defensive, but I'm not coming to do anything. Trees going through the solar panels, nice. You have Apex in your name. Makes you dangerous. But you're only level 1, and I missed that. Well, consider it a warning shot. Okay, maybe not. That was a full-on assault. <laughs> Attempt on my life has left me scarred and deformed. This is a nice planet, though. And it sure does remind you of Skyrim. that route. They see tiny life forms that need scanning. Kill beetles.
Hang on a sec. Let me just change something here. One moment. I want to try scaling that down. Then do that. Do that. Then I want to do this. And see what happens. The stream does look good. More importantly, I do hate the stream delays. <laughs> it's like about 10 seconds behind. Can you scan that? Oh, you beat me to it.
where are you, you apex crocodant? I need to scan you. this again. One moment.
Damn, is the stream delay really that far? about getting the perfect tanking for some reason. It's fine when I'm not streaming. <laughs> Unbelievable. tried to cast before. Oh man, that is bad.
just can't get enough. Right, if I do this. Life will almost certainly arise on planets when the right conditions are met. There's a beauty in such persistence. If you're here to join our crew, I have some advice for you. Don't. You took me to an industrial facility. Oh, you shouldn't have. your step. You don't want to end up on the wrong side of the plastic cap. Keep away from the equipment. We don't have a medic on staff. here to make credits, not friends. I wasn't expecting to see anyone else out here. I'm glad you stopped by. We're analyzing the composition of the vapor rising from gas vents. Mm. I was hoping you'd say that. Thank you kindly. Progress here with these scans.
I can't wait to start digging through the data. Here, this is for you. I only wish I had more to give. Safe travels, friend. Thank you. Struts primed, retros firing. Suit on. You know, these hostile worlds fascinate me the most. It's required for life to adapt here, if it even can at all. Down every time. Initiated. Watch your flaring.
why I need to find H2O. Done. Benzene and car box, car box here, something. This last one is a gas or a solid. Nice one. Have you gone through the new game pluses?
to land. Fair enough. Hello. I'm sort of avoiding the uh, complete story because <laughs> I sort of want to try and explore every star system in this first playthrough. But I hate how it resets when you go to New Game Plus, so it feels like exploring everything is pointless. Exhilarating, isn't it? To be the first person to scan these things. It's causing mass genocide to <laughs> local fauna. Seems to grant you a lot of XP. give you some sort of like mobility vehicle to traverse these worlds. Crimson Fleet does seem like a, a good faction to sort of go around and play pirate in. I was thinking of doing that. I've still not done the UC missions yet. Sort of just focusing on the survey and the long grind for that. I've yet to go to any Free Star Collective area as well. <laughs> Literally only been to the UC areas. I've seen the news about Payday 3. It's a 
real shame for that game though. Excited for it. me about it. I might know it but I don't think I do. married to Sarah but yeah I do keep forgetting to <laughs> sleep in the bed with her to get that XP bonus. my attention. Hey, you're up. Perfect. We have so much to do, to see. One time I jumped off the cliffs of a planet with almost no gravity. Fun at first, but took forever to get down. Ah, uh, hello. Tranquility. I don't think I have any of that on me. Nah. 
Captain, do you require my assistance? Okay. Oh yeah, I saw the leak as well. <laughs> that is a lot of effort to remaster those. So. There's one. Where's my textbook? You actually responded. Uh, wait, where'd my notes go? <clears throat> Thank you for accepting my hail. This is UC Vanguard vessel AHC1026 performing standard training exercises. Civilian pilot, do you require assistance from the UC Vanguard at this time? <laughs> First day on the job. Ah, uh, still in training, actually. Is it that obvious? I'm all good, thanks. Phew. Okay. Um. Safely, civilian pilot. Thank you for responding to this hail from the UC Vanguard. Vessel AHC 1026 prepping for grav jump. Please stay clear. thing about wearing these suits is that the more you wear them, the more comfortable they are, the more likely they are to rupture. So the discomfort is a good sign, I guess. Palladium. Okay. Still, it looks like a lot of work though. But at least they're not <laughs> doing a re release of Skyrim. Fingers crossed.
I remember Brink. <laughs> I remember buying it on the day it got released. Me and a friend bought it together. Went home to play it. After literally an hour, we both went back to the store to refund it. It was that bad. Brink did have potential, but I don't know. It just wasn't executed well. some naturals. I'm just gonna have to wander aimlessly until some sort of natural tree pops up if only they gave us like space e-scooters <laughs> they could have made an e-scooter with uh, the boost packs ability Yeah, I used to game a lot like that. I still game a lot now, but these days it's sort of difficult. I respect the hustle on it though. Uh, nah, my boost isn't fully upgraded yet. Still got a long way to go on many things. <laughs> Still yet to like try out the actual outpost building and all that, and like gathering the resources. By the way, did you ever go to Londinian? Because I went there yesterday. Like, it looks impressive as hell, but it's a shame it's not an actual, like, city that you could explore.
Oh damn, they failed to fix it. I don't know how I would feel in that situation to be honest. Because you go through all that and then, yeah, if it's not fixed the problem, it's like, what was the point? You went through all that. Okay, easy quest gets into that planet's history. Yeah, I literally just landed in there, ignoring the military and started terrorizing the terror morphs. Oh, this isn't an actual natural discovery. Just need to keep randomly landing until it pops something up. Aha! There we go, there's one. Oh, damn. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> like, for me, I wear glasses and... I don't know, even just the thought of using eye contacts puts me off. Just don't want anything touching the eye. <laughs> Well, I'm hoping for the best for you, mate. Whatever gets you through it, innit? game would you say you've put the most hours of your time into? 
for me, unfortunately, it was uh, Rainbow Six Siege. I've got over a thousand hours on that, which I do regret. But the game was a lot better back in its early stages compared to now. Oh, you're near Boston. Nice. Fallout or Warframe? Oh, okay. I have a friend that, like, really loves Warframe. I've never really played it, though. But I've seen gameplay, it does look good. Still need to do that. I've still not completed it after all these years. Never got around to even touching the DLC. It's just really finding, I guess, motivation to play it. Oh, they're making a Division 3. Damn, I didn't know about that. I did enjoy 1 and 2. 2 more so. Although I preferred the snowy ambience of uh, the first one. <laughs> that one made it a lot more spookier. Have they said, like, where Division 3 would be? Like, set in? Just keep things civil, alright? Looking for a spot check? All seems good from here. Thank you. if you had the chance to choose.
place near military location. Okay. understand that. a good setting because it was dense, tight, packed, and there's a lot to play around with on that. Two was good, being the capital. Third sort of needs to, I guess, meet somewhere in between. Yeah, I was thinking Las Vegas. Las Vegas is always a good location to set up. I would like a Division London, <laughs> that'd be good. I'll left a cushy job as Shepherd's General. Take your time.
go. doing it for mobile as well. I think I saw about the Heartland one, yeah. in the pan, huh? Oh, you mean the one that orbits uh, Paradiso? If you, if you mean that one, yeah. I've, I've visited it, but I've not completed the quest yet. Well, uh, my option is to upgrade the grav drive so they can find another planet. Painful moons to do. The party ship I've not found yet, actually. I'm looking forward to that one, though.
good to go. The planet may seem inhospitable, but it's just ready for some real estate developer to come in here and turn the place into a classy resort. Should I be grabbing them at like every chance I get? Be honest, I've been dumping them into Barrett. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got a bug where all of the misc in my cargo hold like reappears after I've sold it all, including the aid stuff as well. So it's like just never ending. Yes, you need me? What is it? If I can take a few things, I will. All right, then. Do that. 
<laughs> I love that you can just dash it all on the floor and be done with it. <laughs> things I could do on my shit. If you haven't tried it yet, give Origami a shot. I've been folding paper birds and flying them across the ship in zero G. Personally, I have quite a rock collection. I used to spend my weekends gathering samples on Jemison. Maybe I shouldn't have let that slip at the office, huh? <laughs> That's probably why they sent me on this job instead of some poor grad student. <laughs> Yeah, I do know what happened to the Earth, to a certain extent. I've explored, I think, only three of the landmarks so far. The New York, London and Shanghai ones. But I can understand why they sort of went for the story of the Earth was gone. Because it would take a lot of resources to... <laughs> model the cities of the earth for you to sort of land on or even go close to. to me in bad detail if you want. I don't mind. Wonder isn't limited to planets with native life forms. I hope we have time to take some scans. Is that part of like the constellation story or side story?
Okay. Emissary, okay. yesterday burn it three hundred K fine, damn. That new site is clear. Let's hit that. Uh, it's a moon, not a planet, mate. Maz, it's a moon of uh, Uranus. is away. Great. I've been selling some here and there. But I've compiled a long list of scans at the moment. Would you say it's best to be giving it to uh, the guy in the eye? Yeah, that's one thing I've noticed <laughs> about a lot of vendors when you try to sell the scans. You can only sell them like 3 to 5 and then they're out of cash.
almost there. Okay, nice. Just the right. We're worried about the gas rising. We have data collection. Thank you. Want to check out the food I'm selling? I bet you're hungry after coming all this way. Yep, I've noticed that. The variety of the caves and bases aren't really that extravagant. And the exact same items spawn on them as well. By including like um, computer logs, those little uh, data bits that have lore in it as well it's all the exact same so it's like oh there's a Dave on this planet Dave on that planet not the best there we go soul system 100%
Oh yeah, Mass Effect 1. <laughs> they were fun but tedious, those planet scans. I don't think I've been there yet. Is that the name of a planet or star system? Suit is fully oh, engaged. Reach. Ready for okay. anything. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. <laughs> now we're talking. Alright, let me transfer over the data. But, I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is, or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. That anomaly is a damn sight. You've tipped my ear. Show the words another time, then. Uh, I don't think I've unlocked the powers yet. I really should. Ah, oh, sweet. Now, where did I leave my cozy slip? At this point, I'm just a normal human yeah, that's delusional. Break. But how many different powers are there? I just assumed it was like one. Separation complete. Cost. 
Need some work done? You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cost... Sure, have at it. And dog tied. Okay. and then crash. Oh, man. Yeah, once you get the hang of it and you know what you're sort of going for, it becomes a breeze. that go <laughs> when it's side yeah it's nice seeing everyone build differently and seeing what they come up with Same with like the Fallout 4's base building, a lot of people uh, had fun on that. an AK. I've seen the revolver that someone made and like a giant scorpion Just 
go for this for now. I haven't seen the cheeseburger ship, but it sounds good. this area this lower left corner I've pretty much surveyed like that that one that one I've yet to do that because it's got a lot of planets and moons on it Bernard Star explored that before hmm. why well, didn't <laughs> scan the resources great landing site looks clean let's set it down left of soul to mini star uh which one you mean this one Luton? Is it Luton? Luton. <laughs> I've done that. And Procyon B I've done, but not Procyon A, because there's quite a bit I need to do there. Oh wait, do you mean this one here? Van Man and Star. Yeah, I've done that one. It does look very hidden, because it's just a little dot, not glowing. Captain, greetings. tried um, say for example like iron is a resource on this planet to scan say I had iron on me and I drop it would I be able to scan that as like a cheaty method instead of traveling to find iron because I've been contemplating it but I haven't actually bothered to test it Survive. And the next 
planet that has iron on it. I'll check it out. I've done that one. Iron is FE. Okay, there's supposedly iron on this one. That's an interesting looking planet. Or moon, should I say. Time of encounter, Grandma. I hate talking on this infernal thing too much. Just come on over. Okay. But yeah, isn't this Skyrim Grandma that they added? Like just as a reference. Well, hello. <coughs> Was hoping you'd drop by. The worst part of space travel is having to eat alone. I used to eat with my best. Yeah, I did start at PS2. <laughs> until he passed. I've got plenty. I hope you're hungry. Yeah, I'm in my 20s. 27, so nearing the end. Well, don't go expecting a three-course meal, but besides that... I finally retired last year, and I've been traveling all over. I wish I could have done this when I was younger, but it's still a treat. My grandkids are mortified that I'm out here. Positively livid. <laughs> You wouldn't believe the characters I've encountered. I got good shields, and I always have enough helium-3 to jump somewhere safe. I'm careful. So, what do you think of the settled systems? I can't believe there are so many stars, planets, moons, and whatnot. It makes my head spin just thinking of it. I will choose the only thing I haven't done. Teach their own. I'm afraid I'm worn out, dear heart. I'm at the tail end of a very long day. But feel free to grab some extra food or whatnot. I've got plenty. Dark Watch. I don't think I've actually played that. On the PS2, I think the very, very first game my parents got me was like this 3D Pac Man game. Which I think he had legs and arms. Bitterly. I can't cold. remember. I hate it. Truly, I do. Again to jump to the cockpit instead of running all the way there. Yeah, she always does that. <laughs> this is a few sentences that gets tired. Locks, air pressure, drive, all good to go, Cap. Air 
Everything checks out. Landing initiated. piece of iron and let's see if this Thank works you. no it doesn't well that's a shame <laughs> that would be so handy having every single element in your inventory and just dropping it just to cheese your way So copper and helium, and then two traits. There's one copper. Helium. Your stronghold ship, what class is it? Is it A, B, or C? Unlock the sea now. Okay, there we go. Four K cargo down. of this guy making a proper like American truck with the trailer as a spaceship of course he had to use a mod to extend the length of it but <laughs> it's so funny seeing it take off
So you play the old PC, this game. Riddick playthrough. You play the on Xbox here. Yeah? How am I over the limit? <laughs> Why is this book in there? This damn misc. Hello, David. Morning, mate. Even though it's afternoon. Did the Batman playthrough? Oh yeah, I've tried the Silent Hill mod on Fallout 4. That was very good. Time to do a mass eating. This is 
pretty much me in real life. <sighs> and it's still over. Whatever you need, you've got it. Spaceship debris, and it's the same one as it is on all planets <laughs> which have this location. Setting down. I do like how they use the uh, Skyrim waypoint icon in terms of this icon here and then they have like a pistol that looks very similar to the Fallout 4's 10mm pistol. Light vector. Oh, did my game crash? No, it didn't. Okay, good. <laughs> Three locations. Communications system critical. Hail terminated. I think I've already been in this station. Logical front. Our suits allow us to venture into hostile territory. But imagine all of the places where even a suit isn't. One day. Yeah, I think when I <laughs> finally get around to New Game Plus, I would. Just go all out pirate. Crap, I need to check that. 
special outpost. <clears throat> Left tungsten and vanadium. Yeah, some things in this game feels like it's not rewarding enough. Like when I first ventured into a cave, I assumed, ah. Oh, Gonna get some good loot, gonna find some exciting things, but nah. Literally a small cave, some resources, there you go, that's it. <laughs> you made your character that. Is that Brannigan? I would love for Bethesda to make a DLC for this game in which you can full on create your own proper colony. Like sure you can make the outpost but like a full on in terms of the um, oh what was it called? The proclamation, the Centaurus proclamation in that you can go off and colonize distant worlds. I would love for a proper DLC on that, and that other factions actually are able to recognize it. Maybe do some diplomacy, stuff like that. Don't touch anything. This equipment could take your fingers off. Planet Builder, yeah. Is that from Futurama? Yeah, yeah. I gotcha. That does not look healthy. I just fall in there. Varun? Why are they here? There's actual enemies next to this civilian outpost, what? You are lost. Not a bad gun. Modern world, Smurf world. Feel that low gravity? It's like butterflies in your stomach. But it's all over your body too. Yeah, mods for this game is gonna be a <laughs> sci-fi person's wet dream. So much potential. Oh, is that one? Natural, yes. I 
Nothing's even in here. The models are quick on that. this cave. Same cave I've experienced quite a few times, which has pretty much nothing in it. be my dream project. Hmm. That's a that's a deep thinker that one. Uh To be honest, like, Fallout was really the main one that always got me excited or eager whenever I hear something about it. It's like, I guess, okay, for example, like, a Fallout London was something I always wanted, and I see that there's modders sort of working on that. But when I see that, it like see what they've done sure it's impressive but at the same time it doesn't get me excited to what I would have hoped for I don't know it's, it's hard to convey but like it's, it's at the point where I probably won't even touch the mod for that when it releases properly I don't know I guess it's more I want it to be an official thing rather than a community made thing. No offence to the community on the hard work on that. But yeah, like Fallout London is something that I've always fantasised about since like a young age. Um, yeah. It's just like the, the map itself, going through the London Underground tunnels in the Fallout setting. But yeah, may maybe I should give the actual mod a go when it comes out. Because they might actually do it justice. Warhammer by Wolfrain devs. Stephen King's Dark Tower series. Oh. Hmm. 
these would be very intriguing. I'm not saying I want to build my dream home here, but those outcrops are really quite nice. Still no natural. But it does look nice. <laughs> yeah, Boston was quite small. Like when you first see the city from the distance, it looks huge, but when you actually get to it, everything's quite cramped. Like e even the roads in Fallout 4, it just isn't... I don't know, when I saw like the lorries, like the destroyed lorries and the cars itself on Fallout 4, compared to the actual roads there, it just doesn't fit, like the turning corners. I don't know how it would have worked before the war, but yeah. Could have made it larger. I did really like the skyscrapers that you could go in though. I thought they were quite cool, but I just wish they added more. To be honest, Bethesda could have, like, stuck to the engine for Fallout 4, like what they currently had then, and just kept producing new Fallouts with that, and I would have been fine with it. Just make, like, more story, more characters, different maps. but the community are the ones to take up that mantle with mods. Mr. Fisto. They need to bring him back. The best protectron. Do you require 
require my assistance. Yeah, when I saw that ghoul prostitute, <laughs> that was traumatising. But, mad respect for <laughs> going through with that, mate. When it comes to New Vegas, you got to try everything. It's not an actual trait discovery. I need to quickly check that outpost though. So there it says explored. Now why are you going to kill Cazadors with dynamite? Surely you want to take a fat man into that. You need to purge them with the highest caliber. your favourite companion in New Vegas? again the brotherhood of steel chick oh 
um, Veronica. Yeah, she's really good. I'm torn between her and Cass. Cassidy. The one that drinks whiskey all the time. I thought her quest was quite good. if they've done like an easter egg for Mass Effect in this game. Like, it'd be cool if you could encounter Mass Relay. But I'm sure a modder will do that. to visit this place, I guess. Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. Yeah, I agree with Fallout 76. Once you've explored it all. Done. Welcome to Gagarin. Magnetosphere, powerful goodness. are dedicated to Gagarin. We were just hoping Gagarin could show the same dedication in return. I'm not closing off the city every time you want to run a tour group through here. Our investor visits are the key to making Gagarin a place that works again. A place where people want to live again. 
people are living here just fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have security work to get back to. Oh, tell me you're here to just report a good old-fashioned crime? If I have to deal with one more corporate exec begging for special treatment, I'll eat my badge. Hmm. Sorry, what's this about some corporate execs? Ah, oh, you haven't heard? Gagarin's going to be the next New Atlantis, or so we've all been told. Centauri Mills, Arkmite, Reliant Medical, they all bought up and renovated derelict buildings here in the city in the past couple years. We needed their jobs, to be sure. Gagarin got hit hard after the mech plants were all shuttered when the colony war ended. But I'm not sure I've ever met a more entitled group than these executives. Treat the city like an amusement park, and all of us as the amusements. It's kept me and my people plenty busy, just not with actual policing. But uh, I'm sorry, did you actually need to report something? Get no argument for me. Leeches feels a bit strong. Maybe if they didn't pay their taxes and help repair the catwalks. They're an added annoyance to my day though, that's for sure. But look, I'm Security Chief Pretorius. If you do have anything to report, you can speak to me or one of my officers. We're always around. Oh yeah, by shock four. Clockwork revolution. I need to check some details on that. We've had our issues. Some folks aren't thrilled about the corporations moving in, but the majority don't act on it. Those that do, largely keep it civil. Protest, throw some paint, the occasional crate wanders off. But we've managed to avoid any open conflict so far. It's really not a bad assignment. Well, I came here right after training, which was 10 years ago now. Gagarin was a lot rougher then. People were still reeling from all the plants getting shut down after the war. So there was a lot of petty theft, break-ins. I was responsible for putting together a pretty busy community outreach program. Worked out well enough that they eventually made me chief. Gagarin's not really that sort of bird. Most of the restaurants went belly up when the mech trade shut down. Only one left is Lizzie's, on the other side of town, though it does have a nice view of the square. There's also a little social club, the local executive set up across from Lizzie's, but it's still pretty light on amenities. Now, if you're just looking to resupply, then you'll want Clint's, another case of last business standing, but he's got a good selection. And for medical supplies, You'll want Dr. Keala. You can find both of them on the main concourse. Beyond that, we're just corporate offices and private homes. Where is uh, the Strix Desert? Is it on this planet? Just stay out of trouble. I'm sorry, but if this isn't directly related to relying medical business, you should really schedule an appointment. Who knows? Drink themselves to death? I honestly haven't the slightest. I'm usually too busy trying to make something of this city. But if you aren't the season day type, you can wander over to Lizzie's. I haven't heard about any waves of blindness striking the city's residents, so the drinks can't be that bad. 
What's that like? Challenging. I work for Helena Strickland, one of the most driven executives in the industry. I tied him really, though she seems to forget it's not just her that's responsible for Reliance's successes around here. Though we've been having some courier troubles recently. I think there could be some credits in if you're interested. Speak to Helena. Gagarin is a city on the rise. Cheap facilities, an enthusiastic labor market. Archimite and Satari mills are just learning what Reliance known for years. Gagarin is the place to do business. I better get back to it. Salutate, my services are inadequate. Please leave a complaint so I can improve. Ugh, real scorcher today, isn't it? Apparently the corporate execs are talking about building their own priority catwalks above the city. You been up there? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you're not the usual courier. Please tell me you're his replacement, and that you're just here to pay me a long overdue visit on his behalf. I'm looking for Benny. Are you now? Look, I'm expecting a very important package. Very important. What would you say to tracking it down for me? Quickly. I pay, and I pay well. <laughs> cool security. Uh, no, I can find it. Good. Let's get you on your way then. Busy walking around your desk. Akachi Rosenblum, United Transport, Garn Branch. Now, please. Akachi, it's Helena, over at Reliant Medical. Your courier never showed. I need his stops for the day. This is my I don't care voice, Akachi. Oh, and what's your firm's policy on losing our branch as a client? <coughs> I thought so. Send it to my personal slate. Thank you, Akachi. Here, all the places our courier might have gotten way late. She mentioned a panel or something that you can plug his ID number into at each delivery point. They should tell you if he's been there recently. The ID's 8148. When you do finally track him down, you can tell him you'll be completing delivery. Now go get me my package. Please. Feast. Okay. Wait, she said I pay well as sus. The package should be addressed to Reliant Medical. Collect it and bring it to me immediately. Yeah, that's right. Walk away. End of the colony war hit Gagarin hard. The city's just fine. I old governor. Welcome to Clint's. Whatever you need, I'm sure I've got it lying around somewhere. Hmm. Except mech parts. Don't trade those anymore. So don't waste your time asking. There's something wrong with selling mech parts? Well, for one, it's illegal in UC space. Making mech platforms used to be Gagarin's bread and butter. So, since they were banned in the armistice, I get one to two folks a month asking what kind of relics I might have lying around. But I'm not about to risk a contraband fine, at my age. So that's why I just lay it out up front. Nice to meet you, Clint. I'm just going to look around if you don't mind. If you need anything, just follow the sound of falling inventory. You'll find me eventually. What can you tell me about Gagarin? Gagarin. It was a military town until the end of the colony war. Mechs were our specialty. Everyone always blabbers about Mars making the highest performance machines. But if you needed a system that wouldn't let you down in a pinch, you piloted a Gagarin. 
But that all dried up when the mechs were banned with the armistice. Now, we've got these new firms coming in. Arc Might, Centauri Mills, claim they're here to revitalize the city. Which is funny, since their employees refuse to step foot in most of it. Hmm. What was Gagarin like back when they still made mechs here? Plenty more competition for stores like mine, that's for sure. UC had a lot more money to throw around in those days. During the war, I couldn't keep the shelves stocked. At first, because of all the demand. But later, because the Freestar Collective flotillas were so damn good at picking off UC merchant craft. But the biggest difference now? The quiet. Not just because most of the forges and mines shut down. It was a testing. Firms used to drive their prototype mechs out into the canyons, way beyond the city. But you could still hear the guns all the way from here. It was like, shoo, thunder. So when the thunder stopped, well, so did Gagarin in a way. Damn. Sounds like you really miss those days. Hard to not be nostalgic for a time when the city was in a better place. Though, knowing what we do now, with the costs of the war and all, probably better for everyone that Gagarin's moved on. Let's see what you may got. not be the prettiest stock, but you can count on every piece. That's the Fallout pistol. Whoa. Micro gun. I've never seen this one. Fourteen grand. Oh, hang on. Now this is what I was looking for. Give to companion with one bullet, okay. What, the micro gun? Thirty seven. <laughs> Might be worth it though. Why not? About time Barrett gets a new gun. Security is usually good you. about keeping our there strength. You Keep your eyes Thanks. open at night for dust devils and prong wings, okay? Hmm. Let's rearrange some things here. Seven point seven seven. Okay, yeah, he's got some. Okay. <laughs> nice. Oh. Sir, hey, can you help me out here? I'm not sure what to do about an issue. What seems to be the trouble? So, whenever the Ark might factories on. My water gets real spotty. Huh. That is a problem. You'll want to start a town hall. 
They should be able to get you a grievance form. Grievance? You're handling this whole... All right, I'll start there. Happy to help. Yeah, I need to sell these other guns that I dumped on him. Okay. Right. Take, don't mind the mess. Plenty on offer. This guy has a lot of credits. Whoops. Oh yeah, I need to use that. What gun do I not want to use that one? May not look like much, but let me just bring that up. I don't mean to be rude, but I've got a lot of shipments to process still, so let's cut to the chase. Are you here to claim a shipment in storage, or do you have some other shipping concern? Did one of my robots wander off again? Was it something else entirely? There sure are a lot of robots around here. What do you expect? Robots never get tired. They don't need brakes. They can carry heavy loads. They're faster and more efficient in every way for this kind of work. And if I'm being honest, I prefer their company. When you've spent most of your life in space away from people, you learn to trust technology more than humanity. What can you tell me about this shipping warehouse? Well, it's owned by Unified Transport. We employ a mostly robotic staff. Fewer mistakes that way. We do short-term storage, long-term. I guess that's pretty much it. It's a warehouse. We do shipping. Enough said. 15% with them. <laughs> You'd be surprised. Gagarin's had a bit of a resurgence lately as an industrial hub. It seems like every week they're storing and shipping more and more cargo. That reminds me, if this keeps up, we're going to need more robots. I'd like to help you, but there's a problem with my computer system. I can't verify your claim number at the moment. The technician said they should be done fixing it by 1100 hours local time. Why are these parts stored here? Look, Gagarin may be past its heyday, but we've still got a lot going on here. It's prime real estate for industrial ventures. Corporations will often contract with our secure warehouse facilities here to store merchandise. Some companies use it for older parts, like the ones you're picking up, so that they don't take up space they need in their own warehouses for merchandise that moves more quickly. Well, I can help fix it. Hmm. Normally I wouldn't allow it, but work is starting to back up. And I wasn't looking forward to staying late to finish processing all the claims. So, what the hell? Take a crack at it. Chronicles of the Mech Riders. 
It's a good title. You read it, right? <laughs> I'd do some more brainstorming on that one. Let me sell it to you. Action, adventure, heartbreak, humanity at its absolute most raw. Ever since I left the military, I've been thinking about writing chronicles, interviewing other mech pilots about what it was like to experience the war strapped in, and what it's been like for us ex-pilots since mechs were banned. You were a mech pilot? Deployed from 2309 till the fleet got themselves blown to bits two years later, and the UC waved the white flag. I was at the Battle of Mars when the Free Stars dropped in to try and blow our industrial output to smithereens. If you've ever visited Sidonia and noticed it's still in one piece, that's my unit's work. Oh, I definitely read that. <laughs> Just take my cred stick already. <laughs> well, in the bold future where the book's done and I don't have to track packages for a living anymore, I'll happily sign your copy. Now. What can I do for you? What was it like, pilot in a mech? When folks lose a limb, some get ghost sensations. Feel like the limb's still there. Well, imagine that across your whole body. When you're strapped in long enough, you and your machine, you grow to understand each other. What the machine can take and keep going, and what the human can. We'd even sleep in our mech so we could deploy faster. And since they were a hell of a lot more comfortable than the cots the UC issued, you spent your life cradled in the arms of a war machine. That's what it's like to pilot a mech, and that's what I want to write about. Why were they banned? The armistice that ended the colony war put plenty of new laws into place, but the two big ones were no more Xeno weapons and no more mechs. You'll get into trouble for even having mech components on your ship on more settled worlds. So those of us that made our living piloting them were left without a purpose. Which is how I went from driving a 1500 horsepower battle frame to working in a shipping warehouse. So why aren't you out there writing your book? Sailing across the settled systems, hunting down all these other pilots, it's not going to be cheap. That's why I'm living in scenic Agarin and not, say, downtown New Atlantis. Every spare credit goes right into the book fund. Of course, I don't exactly mind living in the same town where my mech was built either. But once I've got enough, I'm gone. Later. Oop, later. Organizational protocol. Controlled chaos active. I was... Someone painted some choice words on the arm one. The robots took it down for anything. You again. You again. I hate it when the walkways creak.
I don't miss all the extra heat from the old forts, that's for sure. Still can't help you until that computer's up and running. Where is your computer? Am I blind? I'm Dr. Keala. Are you a new patient? If you're a UC citizen, I can look you up, get your benefits processed once we've done a workup. No, I just wanted to say hello. Oh, <laughs> well, hello right back at you. If you're ever in need of medical services, you just let me know. Do you like being a doctor? I like helping people. I grew up around here, so I already knew basically all of my patients from day one. My parents both worked the mines, and I saw how hard that can be on the body. Made me want to help folks around here. I'm here to help, day or night. You been to Clint's recently? You get crushed under all that crap yet? Bruh. I see you there. I've got all these fancy new businesses going up, and we still can't get them to open up a chunks. You have any problems, you should talk to Chief Pretorius. She'll help you out. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be in here. You're from what? Lost? Trick to the catwalks? Just keep turning right. You'll get where you're going eventually. Or with a left. Some of the other executives and I have been looking to form a town council. Ensure everyone's voices are heard in city matters. The locals would be invited, of course. Are you taking coffee orders? I'd kill for a cappuccino right now. Welcoming committee or something? Yeah. Well, get out of my face. Make it a double. Was that kind of weak? Well, let's see if we can't smooth out the wrinkles in that gray matter then. First one's on me. Ah, you're too good to me. Oh, I know. Looking for a drink? Don't serve anything fancy, so if you're about to ask for wine spritz or whatever, you can hop right back on your ship to New Atlantis. something against folks from New Atlantis? Not as a rule, no. Just the ones that come to Gagarin and want to change it. And those folks usually ask for disgusting, overly complicated drinks. You one of them? Not my style, but I'll look at your menu, sure. Menu? You're funny. Here's what I've got. Hanuk. Uncanned. Shepherd's play.
That looks nice. Just have two slices of toast. Okay. So you own the bar? Sure do. I came into some money right around the time the war ended. Places were selling for nothing. Every person with credits was flying to New Atlantis. I got this place for a wink and a nod. Have been slinging drinks the way I like them ever since. What's going on around? Bunch of corporate marionettes moving in, setting up shop. They think we're just a bunch of cheap factories and dumb labor that'll leap at whatever scraps they toss us. But Gagarins are tough by default. We've got exactly zero need of corporate condescension. Lucky you. I've got a little project I could use some help with. You've seen all the neckties and power suits wandering around town? Hmm? Feels like they're everywhere. And while I like a bunch of stuck-up new Atlantean MBAs defiling my city as much as I enjoy unmedicated dental surgery, they've got the credits. So sooner or later, I'm going to need to start serving them or someone else will. Let's just jump to the park. Okay, okay. I got a tip where I might acquire some luxury beverages. On the cheap. There's this ship whose crew had to ditch mid-flight. I, I presume it's some kind of luxury liner because it's supposedly got an impressive collection of booze on it. I want you to go to the ship, find the best stuff on board, and bring it to me. Anything else on the ship is yours to keep. Plus. I'll throw in some credits for your trouble. A bunch of fancy liquor from a delivery ship. Yeah, no the music kidding. does sound like it. I'd sign up for your delivery service, that's for damn sure. Well, I guess I'll just take that off your hands then. And here's a little something extra for managing to surprise me today. Appreciate doing business with you. Well. Where am I headed again? <laughs> the ship carrying the liquor is currently doing laps around Grissom, or so my rumor claims. But beyond its location and contents, I honestly don't have a lot of information about the thing. See ya! I'll be right back. Give me a moment. One moment. Thanks again for the liquor. Should be armed and ready when the power suits start wandering in. Now, what can I get for you? back and it got dark quick what can I get for you you got anything bubbly back there I got hired at the Centauri Mills plant and I'm looking to celebrate do you think I've got anything bubbly back here no I misspoke I said beer please that's what I thought you another investor on a tour or something coldest drinks in Gagarin
carbon stack one. Hey, what's drunk? People seem to really like it. The fuck? Return to buy. What? Protecting your precious home from ruffians and vagrants gets me nothing. You're not on my calendar. Is this Arc Might related? I'm on Gagarin to make money, not friends. Yes? I take it. You're not from Gagarin? <laughs> what gave it away? I was born in New Atlantis. But the business environment is so stuffy there. Centuries old firms set in their ways. Gagarin is gritty, exciting, an opportunity for growth. And isn't that what business and life are all about? What's Arkmite? Arkmite? We're the galaxy's premier heavy equipment firm. Diggers, construction robotics, that sort of thing. And we're on Gagarin to take advantage of an opportunity. The city's old mech factories have been sitting dormant for years now. But they're open again thanks to us. We've automated the old assembly lines and brought plenty of money to the city in the process. It's a win-win for all involved. Good I see you talking with one of the security officers. Oh, Chief Pretorius? She thinks Gagarin is just peachy being poor and run down. Has no vision. But Arkmite does. Thanks to our investment, the largest formerly shuttered mech plant in the city has been refurbished and is churning out some of the finest heavy equipment in the settled systems. And we're sharing that vision of a revived Gagarin with others. We've been bringing in investors, showing them all the potential of this place. We were only asking the Chief to make sure the areas we'd planned to visit didn't have any malcontents running around. Hmm. Unfortunately, some of the locals don't appreciate all we've done for the city. Treat them with respect, and I'm sure the locals will come around eventually. <laughs> we expect they will. After all, what truer sign of respect is there than a high-paying salary? Hmm. Next time, let's schedule something. Okay? Why would you want to schedule something with me? I'm a beastly captain. Terabrook kiosk still busted. I swear, last time that thing worked, there was still human. The garden's not an easy place to live. Nice to finally be getting some. If there's harder work than Mandela Foundry and mines in Gagarin, I haven't found it. I'm a guest. Apply now. I'll be a mine worker. Well. Great.
Blair Witch. And this whole town used to be fortress like this one. You ever read about the early history of space flight? So political. So familiar sometimes. The best cereal is chocolate labs. Ships of the line are okay too. That's Zaneda, up at the Vanguard office. She's pretty good. Nearly convinced me to hand out recruitment materials for her. Well, I was on shit. been a murder gets I have to break up one more fight at this she and I are going to have problems security was a real hard ass. Now, if Chief Pretorius chews you out, you probably earned it. My time is Arkmite's time. This has been lovely. Really. Centauri Mills sees a lot of potential in Gagori. lost in the memory for a moment there. How can I help? You know, I needed this. Exploring the galaxy with you by day, investigating the mysterious legal woes of my long-dead spouse by night. I'm glad to see your sense of humor is back. Fasco never appreciated my humor that much. Hmm. I was just remembering how I'd pour my heart out to Vasco. So many times. I told him all about Irvin. He showed me a chart of how sad I should expect to feel. Did you travel with anyone else other than Vasco? Sure. Folks from the Lodge. Folks from my past. I've got friends when and where I need them. But traveling with you has been different. We're more of a team. It feels stronger. You talked to Vasco about Irvin? Why not? Trust me, I've talked to way less sentient humans before. Vasco's just fine for most conversations. You had a sadness by time chart? He was really hoping the visual presentation would help. It did not. 
were sure Vasco was a reliable co-pilot. Oh, we got to point B many times just fine. Top-notch co-pilot. Would recommend him to anybody. Anyway, I'm glad you're here right now because we have things to discuss about Irvin's case. I heard back from my contact. They looked into Hephaestus Mining Corporation. Looks like they paid off the judge. And that's not all. My contact really came through for us. Turns out the witness was threatened until he withdrew his testimony. And thanks to our contact, we now have the receipts. You have actual evidence with you? No, my contact does for now. I trust them. We worked together a long time ago. And it depends on what I want to do with all the proof. If anything. What's the proof Hephaestus paid the judge? Bank transactions. A precise amount was transferred to the judge only the day before the ruling. What's the proof? My contact has an audio log with the identity of the speaker verified, time-stamped, everything. We should hire a lawyer now. I'm glad you're confident already. I'm not, though. I'm worried we don't have enough evidence to go up against a massive corporation like that. So I know a cyber runner who has accessed corporate archives before. They can dig into the classified archives before we go to a lawyer. We can pay extra for them to use less legal methods to obtain information. But that adds risk. What happens if we're caught? I don't know. I guess that's a good question for a lawyer. Might as well take the risk. I appreciate that, Captain. But I'll take care of any fines or bribes that come up from this. You have always been so supportive of me during this process. Let me take care of this part. Depending on what they find out, it might be time to talk to a lawyer. I'll see if I can find one. Whew. Taking on Hephaestus isn't going to be easy. And I say this as someone who's fought the Crimson Fleet. Maybe I should study up on the art of cross-examination. Might come in handy at the trial. I think you'd make a great lawyer. Objection, Your Honor. I think our lawyer in Gagarin is the right choice. Sustain. And I win. Wait, does that mean I'm a good lawyer? I caught myself in a paradox, it seems. Anyway, let's go adventure while we wait on the cyber runner to get back to us. Sorry, I'm not taking any new clients at the moment. I'm sorry, I'm not taking any new clients. Not even as a favor to an old friend? Barrett, what the hell? it's so good to see you. But the answer is no. Worth a shot. Been my approach to every case I've ever plan? had. Shooters shoot. Do you have a lot of clients here? Not as many as I should given the contracts these miners are signing. Most of the time, I'm just here to remind folks they've got rights. A piece of paper can make you do a lot of things, but it can't break the law. Why set up a law office in Gagarin? I've always been passionate about environmental law, so coming here was a natural fit. John Cena, Imagine yeah. Imagine having all these wild ideas about how you were going to end corporate malfeasance, and I couldn't even win one case. You can only cry about it for so long. I told myself to suck it up and win the next one. And the one after that. It didn't matter how many tries it took, I'd just keep chiseling away at the whole justice system until I made a crack. Hey, David, question. Are you 
going to work today or is it your day off? Corporate lawyers can seal those cracks fairly quickly. Maybe. But I'll be here anyway, holding the galaxy's tiniest chisel. You and Barrett know each other? We are acquainted, yes. Mostly through a previous client. Ellie, you wound me. I've always considered us friends. Friends visit, Barrett. But I suppose if you're down on your luck, a good lawyer is a friend to just about everybody. Oh, you're in that for you. If you'll excuse me. What the hell is Barrett? Oh, no wonder. <laughs> so he was talking through this bloody wall, which is through this plant as well. Typical. Weekend off, oh damn. Wait, did you swap weekends? I'm pretty sure your weekend is the same as uh, Derek's. Although he is on holiday this weekend. Captain. Oh yeah, I do. You may as well have it now. Spaghetti carbonara, cheers. I was feeling peckish. Oh yeah, I almost forgot there was a murder that I need to report. Murder. Yeah, I went in there. I remember watching shiny new men's roll Murder! Murder! Could use a little chit chat after the day I've had. Oh, you don't sure. care. Get back to it anyway. Derek switched. Okay. Zenaida at the Gagarin recruitment office. Seen the look on my face uh, when I went up at half six. No, no oh, PBR oh, stuff well, yesterday. I overheard some guys in business. They were talking about well, they had no food to sell. Days from now. Really? Any chance you got names? No, but I can tell you. Have you heard about Space Frog? We hit some pictures of him around town. Security, this way. Murder. Mm -hmm. 
Well, they don't need it now. At last, did you find the courier? And at more last. importantly, my package. Think you might need to work on those priorities a bit. Mate, you're I'm outside. Sorry if my straightforwardness offends you. Now, did you find the man or not? I recovered the package, but you're not gonna like this. It's empty. <sighs> I was afraid that might be the case. Well, I suppose that explains why my employee, Mr. Maximoff, disappeared so suddenly. And why the tracking beacon I installed on his ship was detected fleeing the planet. Here, your payment for finding the courier. It seems you've got some chops when it comes to investigation. What would you say to finding Mr. Maximoff for me? Seeing what he knows about where our daughter might have wandered off to. Wandered off to? And why exactly did you install a tracking device on your employee's ship? Mr. Maximoff is, was, and may still be, one of Reliance's most ambitious young executives. His business is Reliance business. If he was to do something rash, like run off with Reliance confidential and proprietary data, then it's our responsibility to know that. Hence the tracker. And why I'd appreciate your help in confirming if that's the case or not. You don't think this is more of a job for UC Security? Just as oh, as I'll be informing UC Security. But speedy results don't appear to be their forte. I need Mr. Maximoff tracked down and my package recovered, and I need it now. Can I count on you to handle that? Consider him as good as found. Excellent. Mr. Maximoff, Bonifant, appears to have set down on another world here in Alpha Centauri, Holy. Go there and see what he may know on the subject of our missing data. That data is very important. Data. this recruitment office and where is this damn computer that she had Be before you ask the computer's still down yeah where is it but i'm not sure i can i will persuade you that does sound pretty dangerous maybe it'd be okay I'm sure it is. These parts aren't even that expensive, so I doubt you're trying to scam me. Fine. You know what? I doubt you're trying to scam me for all the replacement parts. Here, take them. Just give me the claim and I'll process it tomorrow when the system is working again. Stay safe out there. All this bureaucratic red tape is exhausting. But I guess that's the point of it, isn't it? Yep. Just a little more. I'll be the same. Let's get out there and do something new. Well, that's all I have to. I wonder if there are any mining jobs on Mars these days. Really to blame for Gagarin's problems? The Free Star Collective. You see, when's the colony war? None of this ever happens. Apparently, the corporate execs are talking about building their own priority catwalks above the city. You been up there? Good lord. Good luck. You're always scaring me. Barrett. Please. 
You one of those corporate drones? Gagarin doesn't want you. All of Most of these corporate clowns won't even show their feet. Not supposed to stay out after dark. Where the frick is this recruitment office? We're not supposed to leave the canyon. Too dangerous. That's not a problem. assume a recruitment office would be like higher in this area. It's not that. This is the law office. I've got applications in Arcmite and Reliant. Vanguard office. Oh for goodness sake it's here. This is it. Welcome to the Vanguard recruitment office. Here to join the cause. If you've got a ship and the metal to help keep UC systems safe, the Vanguard has got a place for you. What's the Vanguard? The Vanguard is the United Colonies volunteer fleet. Any pilot, UC or otherwise, is welcome to join up. You'll earn credits, and with time, your UC citizenship. Just have to complete an exam and a probationary mission, and you'll be out defending the fringe in no time. Yeah, I'm actually on the process of doing that. Ah, one step ahead of me. So, what brings you in today, then? What brought you here? My family's actually lived here since the place was first settled. Gagarin seen a lot in that time. Wasn't too long ago, this was a booming manufacturing town, churning out mechs for the UC. That all went belly up when the technology was banned post-colony war. Now we've got these outside firms buying up the old factories, bringing in new money. Honestly, I think we'll see this place get a real facelift in our lifetimes. What'd you do before? You see, Marine Corps. Served in the Colony War. I can't talk about the specifics, but I'm proud of what I was able to do. Being a part of something bigger than myself made me who I am today. Living in the war zone, you get a better idea of the value of life, of working together with others, of your own strengths. I'm still processing my experiences and how they changed my life to this day. I'd love to get some more people coming in the door. Any interest in helping me distribute some recruiting materials to a couple local concerns? Sure. You'll be dropping off recruitment kits to three people. Lizzie Aheo at the local watering hole, Chief Pretorius at the security office, and Dr. Keala over at the clinic. I'll pay you for the legwork, but I'll throw in some extra if you can get them to guarantee they'll actually put the materials up. That all sound like it's in your wheelhouse? Any suggestions on convincing them? <sighs> If I knew how to do that, I wouldn't have to pay someone. <laughs> but I trust you'll figure something out. So, does that mean you'll do it? Mm, yeah. Good. Once you're done, come back here. I'll have your credits waiting. Once, just be? keep turning right. You'll get where you're going eventually. More of these things? <laughs> Fine. Give them here. I'll make sure they find their way to the incinerator with the earlier batches. 
should hang up these posters, and I'll tell you why. Oh yeah? Fine. Let's discuss. How about a few credits? I think we can work something out. Plenty around here who could use some more stability, that's for sure. Okay, okay, I'll put up the damn posters. Now buzz off before I regret my decision. I'd like a new Atlantis trick, please. Why is no one talking about bringing back that? How are you doing? Ah. Huh. Zaneda warned me this day might be coming. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Look, I presume you're not getting paid if I refuse delivery. So here, I'll take them. I'm not about to pull credits out of someone else's pockets. But this is a medical office. I can't in good conscience hang those things up. First, do no harm and all. Let's push I think you're just wasting your time here. Helping out one of your neighbors. Zaneda always has been one of the good ones around here. Wartime or oh. no, the Vanguard's work is far from peaceful. I can't inflict that on my patients. I'm gonna be boozy. But by well. putting those things up, I'd be giving my tacit endorsement. Sign up for the military, doctor's orders. I'm not trying to be cruel, but I've got to put my foot down. The answer is no, okay? I think you've been gravely misinformed about what a doctor does. Now, I'm just not comfortable posting this sort of material around the office, all right? I'll make sure they get disposed of appropriately. Take care now. Well, damn. I am actually going to reload that one. Because I bet I'm going to get cheapskated on, on the credits for not getting all of them to do it. The city was shut down the other day. Where'd you go? I have some time go? for walk-ins today. Ah. <sighs> so here. But this is a... I think you're just wasting your time here. I know Zaneda what? means well, but I'm just not sure I'm comfortable plastering this place with propaganda, okay? City oh, that actually worked. All right, all right, I'll put them up. Tell Zaneda she wins, okay? <coughs> nice to talk to someone when they're not in trouble. Hmm. News in that start coming from my people sooner or later. Sure. Give them here. I'll throw them up in the office. You don't want to hack or argue? Yep. That old piece of leather next helped me out of more jams than I care to remember. I owe her. Well, that was easy. Sure. Just tell Zaneda she's buying my next drink. All right?
You managed to get those materials passed out? Folks didn't give you too much trouble, I hope. <laughs> Job's done now. <laughs> I'm doing for the credits. There. Far from it. Really? Never thought in a million years Lizzie and Doc Keala would play ball. Good work. Here. What I owe you for the deliveries. And for your top-notch negotiation skills. Thanks again for helping out. Hey there. Doors always open. Titan. Maybe not. Oh. Oh, of course, yeah. Paradiso. when you are. Until we get those purifier parts. Uh, you must mean Jacot. Sorry, yeah, I've tried to fire her several times over it, but her uncle's a Paradiso group board member. Between you and me, he's just as lazy, but he's determined to give his niece a job here, and it's about the bare minimum she can handle. I've tried explaining she's bad for business, but the sales numbers don't reflect that. It's the only shop on the island, so people still buy plenty. Anyway, I'll try talking to her again, for all the goods it will do. Hey! You got them? That's great! And just in time, too! One of my maintenance people said they heard something rattling around in one of the purifier units. Thanks. I'll make sure the staff here always treats you right. Frick is that? Okay. 
a new one? <laughs> well, this is the place to do it, I guess. Got anything you need to offload? Hey, what can I do for you? Sure, how about it? Sure. I don't want to hear any complaints. Keep an eye on your valuables. You can't protect your own. Ron hopes the best thing that happened to us. My brother, big shot at Hope Tech. Let's get you settled in. Yes? What? Hey. Yes? Yes? Hey. Off-worlders, nothing ever good. Hope oh, tech. This looks very full out. Out of the way, Barrett. You're not getting this photo. You know I appreciate data collection. It's safe, it's smart, and it's valuable.
blazers they're still on. Turn them off. That's a beast. Just it's keep it holstered. We'll get along fine. Seems like Hope Town spring up out of nowhere. But it is really hopping, isn't it? Yep. Oh, okay. Hello. Sure, we get the occasional bar fight, but it's usually pretty quiet around here. New face, huh? Got some business with me or just learning the lay of the land? Who are you? The fact I'm in this ranger station wearing this uniform doesn't make that obvious. I wanted to meet the local ranger. That's so. Well, I hope I lived up to your expectations. Ranger Niakalu. I'm a Hopetown girl born and raised, so I know a lot of the locals. Helps me do the job. That being said, keeping the peace around here is more the job of local security. You see a lot of action here? Sure. Place like this, with a lot of hardworking people, you're bound to see some things. Contraband flows through here like it does any starport. And I get the occasional fugitive, hoping to hide in the crowd. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Is there any friction between the Rangers and big companies like Hope Tech? Not usually. Local security handles most of their issues. Every once in a while, though, we need access to sensitive information as part of our work. Badge or not, some folks aren't fond of letting us poke around in their books and personnel files. Honestly, though, it's not that common. Most people are willing to work with us because they know it's in everyone's best interest. What's the division of responsibility between you Think and Think of it as security? a small picture, big picture proposition. The small picture is local trouble, things that happen here in Hopetown. Handling that is local security's job. We rangers protect the entire Freestar Collective. So we deal with problems that span multiple worlds. Smuggling rings, escaped convicts, pirates preying on shipping. Those are the kind of things we handle. That's why there are rangers stationed in different settlements. It lets us cast a wide net. Bye. Oh, 
Nice. That was a massive on sweep. Barely took any time to make it all. Why? <clears throat> what? Excuse me. You work hard and you can make a good living here. I will be back in a moment.
the one back. More weeks and I'll finally have enough. Where are you going? Cousin has an obstacle on the eastern bridge. It's soil. I don't know. Excuse me. Excuse me. A little desperate here. It's been credit to me. All right, Adela. Deep breath. <sighs> oh, God. You wanted to talk to me? Talk. Right. Right. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. I'm a captain too. Us captains need to stick together. You are sincerely the answer to my prayers. So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. It just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? Lots of people just use people like us without giving a shit about us. A week ago, I would have said something different, but yes, absolutely. So, I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment? Slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone, men, power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. So what were you actually shipping? I don't know. I was just flying for my life. But some bad people want it. <coughs> that is really terrible. It gets even worse. A tracker just landed and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim you're Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? <laughs> Why would I do that? Listen, I just haul, well, garbage. But you, I mean, you're armed and look, well, awesome. I figure you could do a solid for the little guy, uh, girl. Plus credits. I did mention the credits, right? How do they only know your name? The company is... well, <laughs> a real train wreck. I'm amazed they even have my last name on file. For once, working for such a dump is a good thing. A tracker? A member of the Trackers Alliance. You know, bang bang, dead or alive, bounty hunters? How am I supposed to deal with a tracker? I don't know. I don't want anyone to get hurt. But he may not give you any choice. I'll persuade him. I guess I am Captain Fahim then. You are the best! This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. This can't be happening. Anything you left out? I mean, maybe. At my sixth birthday, the theme was unicorns. Sorry, bad joke. Since the tracker's on world, I'm sure he's got eyes on the Mark Hub. It's just too dangerous. They're still waiting. The interview went real Hello. No, hello. <coughs> I like it here. Very few rules. People know how to look the other way. And so many strangers coming and going all the time. 
a good place for business. Do you agree? <laughs> These options. A place where people know the value of discretion is always welcome. Discretion is a trait I highly value. I have a small package that needs delivery to Aquila City. I need someone discreet. Not too many questions. <laughs> and I'll ask a question. <laughs> Who do you work for? Does it matter? Truly? I know little about you. You know little about me. This is the way I like it. If we're going to work together, I need to know who I'm dealing with. Speak your mind. Hey, haven't I heard of you? Everyone's had great things to say. Pretty sure that's all just talk. How about a few credits? I think we can work something out. Hey, don't worry, I take care of my friend. I think we can work something out. If you must know, let's just say the Trade Authority fully approves of this endeavor. I will say no more than that. The package is contraband. If the authorities find it, it will not be good. If your ship has space for special cargo, then getting through security will be much easier. Can you handle a job like this? So what am I smuggling? That is a question I cannot answer. And the container is quite secure. In case you were curious about that as well. Shielded cargo space. Lots of it. Much more than you need. Makes things easier to hide from scans. If you can acquire a signal jammer, those are good too. If you upgrade your ship with shielded cargo space, come back to me. Will do. Boo! <laughs> I hope I'm as cool as Solomon. When I grow up, I'm gonna be a Freestar Ranger. Workers like to play hard here. They deserve it. Pardon? Yes? Pardon? Okay. Hello. <coughs> yes? Anything I can help you with? Need some work done? Okay, no problem. Where the heck is the shielded cargo? I don't think I've got it unlocked. Oh, a different landing bay. Finally, different pieces. Oh damn, there's a lot of hubs.
battle stations. Goodness. Brig. Mess hall, cargo hall. Wow. These are for massive ships. Oh, that is very weird. I see, so that's Crossbridge. Hmm, interesting. Hey, they? Hey. Hey. You here for commerce? Or another board tourist? Or tourist? Some rules. If there's one place there's some law and order in this town, it's here. Don't even think about stealing anything. No haggling. The price is the price. And might be some other rules. Don't be an ass. Good rules, I can expect that. Then we won't have any problems. If you need weapons, the best defense is the only place in town. You may be thinking this place is a dump, but the hardware isn't. Lots of customers pass through. We got something for everyone. How is it living in Hope Town? There ain't any handouts here. You need to protect what's yours. But if you do, you can be your own person. I'll take that over being a corporate drone any day of the week. Why do you have such serious merchandise? A lot of my business is with travelers. Hope Town's the only patch of civilization anywhere near here. So I have to stock things that hit a little bit harder than home defense. Let's see what you have. Music to my ears. Actually looks good. F 32 grand, jeez. Oh man, it's really nice. I've already got that. Today, sir. Not today. <clears throat> Very nice. As vital as spaceships are to the settled systems, everything would grind to a halt without the Trade Authority. How is your shift? If I am not mistaken, you are new here. I hope you find Hope Town as full of opportunity as the Trade Authority does. <laughs> a marvelous place, truly laissez-faire. 
If you have any difficult cargo to unload, I'm happy to oblige. What's the trade authority doing in Hopetown? Eh, a little of this, a little of that. Anything we can do to facilitate trade. So Hopetown's alright with you being here? Security and I have come to a very equitable arrangement. Beneficial to all parties. It's always nice to see the trade authority. Are you? I think we'll be the best of friends and business partners. So, do you need anything? Why are you set up in a bar? I've never been much for offices or a storefront. But here, people from all over the system come here. A true crossroads. Literal music to my ears. To my ears. Oh yeah, I got a quest to buy that book. Can I sell you? Excuse me. Just letting off some steam before the next shift. <laughs> Can you believe these prices? There's gotta be more to Hope life has got this. everything you need if you can You need a it. vacation. You again. Can I help you? Oh. Oh really? You know we do more than booze, right? <laughs> I've heard of Liszt. Not sure it's my thing. I meant I have everything except that. See Carlos at the best events. Tell him Sal sent you. Listen, you're fresh from the farm? Um, yeah. Just keep your eyes open. Make friends to watch you back. It gets better, I promise. Oh. Does that actually work on people? I gotta admit, that's pretty compelling. I'll do it. I've been looking for a change anyway. Let's see where this goes. Feels weird, but also right. No turning back now. Yes, what? Hey. Let me know if you need something. Oh, hey there. How can I help you? Wonderful. Let's... Take it easy. Fancy. 
So how did you always the trader saw as you, right? As far as you need, sir. If you need anything, just ask for me. Sal. I need something to do. Looks like another newcomer. Welcome to the pit stop. We have a little bit of everything. What uh brings you to Hope Town? Do you uh like wine? I was hoping to find some wine. Well, I heard there's someone at the best defense looking for someone. No idea what it's about. I, I think his name is Suds. Suds? Yeah, you can't miss him. A uh, word of warning, it can get a little rowdy here. Keep your gun holstered and there won't be any problems. Should I be worried? Hardly. A lot of my patrons just got done with a shift. Throw some of the hard stuff in there, well, fists may fly. But they're good people, so please, don't hurt them too bad. I have no plans on making trouble. Well, you just became my favorite customer. You need anything? We got more than booze here. Do a lot of visitors come through? There's almost always a few visitors here for Hope Tech. But mainly, it's all us locals trying to get by. Tell me about Hope Town. People like to grouse, but truth is, Hope Town's the brightest spot on this planet. Deep down, all of us are beyond grateful to Mr. Hope. But the workers work hard and play hard too, so it's best not to drop your guard. What do you really think about Hope Town? Most people come from hard work on the farms, and Hope Tech is light years better than that. But it could be better. Anytime people start getting upset, Hope Tech changes things. But it seems to me they're just doing the bare minimum to keep the workers happy. There was a deep hauler said she picked up some sort of distress call in the Charybdis system. Responding to distress calls can be quite lucrative if your ship can handle itself. No, it's been pretty boring around here. Remember, if you're ever in port, come visit the pit stop. My friend got mugged last night. Looking for something. Okay. Hello. I'm inside. Hey, stranger. All right. Neva went for it, so the plan's a go. The Crimson Fleet is gonna do a quick smash and grab on Hope Town. To get started, I need a layout of the settlement. Don't leave anything out. I want every guard patrol, junction box, mark down everything. When it's go time, I'm gonna need some kind of distraction. Maybe set off a mining charge or something. You know, keep security busy. You'll have at least a week's notice before we send in our ships, so that should give you plenty of time to get ready. All right, you wanted to be part of the fleet. This could be your ticket. Just don't screw it all up. Fresh from the farm? Um, yeah. I'm new in town. Just keep your eyes you open. look like you just Make got here too, we'll right? You back. What's your name, stranger? Better, I promise. Might buy you a drink. I'm new in town. What's your name, Strange? Friends call me Ernesto. Actually, everyone does. Because it's my name and all. And you? A little of this, a little of that. I like to keep busy. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship, the markup? I bet you didn't know it, but I'm a tracker, and I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the drill. Bounty says you made off with a haul of medical supplies, meant for orphans, or something. I get a bonus if I turn the shipment inside unseen. 
I figure they're in the markup. Looks like a place that doesn't mind some color. Or you can surrender. I trank you up, deliver you, they kill you. Nobody ever picks that option. I don't deal with smugglers and no good types. Well, I do, but more violent like. My words, my bond. Yeah, they never see me coming. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. Maybe... Maybe not. Something doesn't add up. Slag steel, huh? And all I have to back that up are wood. I believe you'd say just about anything to avoid me taking you down. Well, I'm... Oh, this is going to be fast. I'm new in town. What's your name, strange? Fahim. I bet you didn't know. Two ways this can... Yeah. But... Maybe. I like my chances. Slag steel, huh? It's not easy, but I don't. I like to think so. All right, I'm not taking you in. But well, that just means somebody else will. Whatever you were shipping, you got to return it. The next tracker probably won't be as upstanding as I am. Suit yourself. But you may want to re-up your life insurance policy. One more drink and it's lift off. Just going to finish my drink. I feel sick. <laughs> I feel like I can finally breathe again. Thank you. <sighs> You're right. I'll see what I can do. You're a literal lifesaver. Take this. I have to go. Like, now. Alright, I think I'm done here for now. It's been a long stream, but yeah. Ron hopes it I'm gonna stop now since my food is here and I need to eat. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. And those who came earlier. 
appreciate it. Ben should be streaming in a few hours, probably 5 or 6 p.m. Doing some siege with the lads. So come join if you can. Till then, goodbye.